Well, at least everything seems to be in order. I like the layout. I'll probably like it even more once the game is in. Um, if I get any viewers, um, I need to pick a pad, really. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at blue. I'm looking at red. Those seem to be the colors to go for right now. Just need to uh, decide, really, I suppose. So, well, oh, hello. Can I do for you? Come to say hello. We haven't got anyone. We haven't got anyone yet. We haven't got no one yet. Come to see the Rosie show. Huh? Come to see the Rosie show. Good girl. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's that? Oh, look at that. Good girl. Hi, Cass. Oh, hello. That was unexpected. Uh, it's the Rosie show. It's the Rosie show. It is. It's the Rosie show. You gotta say hello to Cassie. Say hello to Cassie. Say hello to Cassie. Yeah. I know you're my baby. What color controller should I use, Cass? I want you to pick a color controller for me to use. I'm thinking either blue or red because of the, you know, the theme, or even yellow. Yellow? There you go, yellow. There we go. Right, come on. So I need you to take it down, babe. Come on, off you go. Good girl. Okay. Yellow it is. Okay, so I've got that to hand. Yellow. Let's go yellow. Alrighty. I'm sure everyone can see that, but that's uh, yellow. Yellow, we're going. We're we're off and going with yellow. Um, I'm not gonna like do a like a full playthrough of a game or anything. It's just gonna be a like a test, just to see how the layout is. Sort of shake the rust off. It's been a while since I played this game. Um, see how good my memory is, I suppose, more than anything else. Uh, whilst I'm here, oh, I might have stopped my volume. Do. There we go. So one thing I forgot to do um, is say thank you to my sister Laurel. Uh, she got me this game uh, as a way of, of helping her out with with um, some things she was selling on eBay. I helped to sell them, so she got me this as a present. So I just want to say thank you to my sister Laurel if she happens to be tuning in or catches it later some, somehow. Uh, thank you so much for this game. She got me a, a really, really great copy. The box, is, the box is mint. The box is really, really mint. In fact, I'll go and get the box as well. Before I do anything else, I'll go and get the box too. Well, what's your problem? What's your issue? What do you want? Come on then. So the box itself is in is in absolutely amazing condition. But I'm really really excited to get to get playing. So Wrong way, wrong way, go. 
So I had already gone ahead. I had already gone ahead and um, cleared what well, the old save data off the game. So I actually haven't played this game yet since I've acquired it. But yeah, the box, the boxes is is really really crisp. So let's get going. Oh, I thought I'd already deleted this. I'm pretty sure I'd already deleted this, but apparently not. Should be empty. Banjo there on his on his Game Boy. Okay. Here we go. We might as well sit through the whole thing. It's only a layout test, so uh, the layout looks good, I think. I hope everybody else likes it. We spent a lot of time on it, so. probably notice that I've done the fonts to match what you see on you know what you see on the dialog boxes in my scroll boxes the font matches very very nicely I think <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm sure that's not the case I'm certain that's not the case I'm absolutely positive that's not the case. What I might do, because of the fact that the screen is actually smaller when it's played, I actually might move bottles a little bit closer to the, to the screen. And um, goes, why is Bottle so close to that? And I go, well, explain why he's um, why he wears glasses like that because he, he spent all of his life too close to. There we go. Might look better there, to be fair. There we go. Comfy, comfy rose. Here you go. Go on, 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 go Uh, yeah, so obviously um, Conker and Banjo and Diddy Kong were all obviously part of Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, obviously Diddy Kong is, is a spin-off of Donkey Kong. Banjo-Kazooie is essentially a spin-off from Diddy Kong. 
and Conker is a spin-off from Diddy Kong. So they're all part of the same universe. So they're all made by Rare. So, you know, they're all part of that Rare universe. So Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong leads to Banjo-Kazooie, Ban you know, Diddy Kong leads to Conker's Bad Fur Day, such and such and such. So, uh, and Diddy Kong Racing is the only game where Banjo actually speaks clear English as well, if I remember correctly. Rosie, come and sit down. There's a good girl. We're confident. Am I confident? I'm confident. I'm confident. Well, if I was playing for no damage, it's already gone. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was, um, yeah, kind of penis shaped, yes. Training ground. reality is I probably wouldn't spend all this time dealing with all these people I'm just trying to get my hands used to the, the controls again so is he a penis carrot
Floating cauliflower? Sure, if one of these kind of had a little compartment store away for a, a honeycomb. Could be my memory, I don't know. Could be my memory. But the layout looks the layout looks good, I think, so I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with what we got here, so. Alright, now that I'm pretty sure, now don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure that there are There's at least six honeycombs for me to get here. There it is. There's one more. There's definitely one more in this in this area. I need to remember where it is. I have the one from over there. Been up here. No, oh, there's a cauliflower still there, so probably not. Really? There it is. There we go. Rock and roll. And the extra life too, so I think we're good. I think we'd be good for this stage, so. Well, we. Probably spend more, I'll probably spend more. T I'll probably spend, or probably will spend more time, or have spent more time on this layout than I will do to play the whole game. I think. But we're good. We got all the honeycombs. We got the extra life. We're gonna go and see bottles now. So. Damn, we are 18 minutes in. What are you doing? What's wrong with your colour? What are you doing with your colour now? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I'm not, I'm not showing you enough affection and love today. You want some more, do you? You want some more, do you? Oh, you just want some more. Oh, 
Chill. Put your bed. Here we go. That's Conga, I remember Conga. I could get my timing right for this. Yeah, they are. Oh! <laughs> 
there's something with the eggs as well in a minute, I know that. I'll do that yet though, because I haven't learned it, technically. Well, I think I remember how to do it. I can't do it until I've actually been taught it, technically speaking. Uh, green ginger is in here. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to remember too, so. I thought I'd, I'd, I'd be doing a lot a lot more poorly at this than, than, than I have, so I suppose that's something, so. Right, I'll stop with the notes. We'll find, we'll find the last more hole in a little while, so we'll stop with these notes here, so. We'll go from top to top. Hundred on each. Pretty sure I know where they all are. In case of doing it carefully, I suppose. Uh, the gumbo token, I'll have to grab that on the way down. Right. Grab it now, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's just to like, it's like that. Old, it's like a, it's like that old phrase with with professional wrestling. You get, it's like ring rust, basically. It's like something that you that you know how to do and have been able to do perfectly well for for numbers and numbers and numbers of years, maybe possibly. And it, it, it's just a case of sort of just clear, just like blowing the cobwebs off. That's, that's kind of really it. So there's 10 jiggies, 100 notes. I've got four and I think, well, it's over 50 now. Over 50 notes. I don't need to go in there yet. I know I, I know I, I know when I need to go in there. It's certainly not now. I know where another note is. Uh, sorry, another jig, jiggy is. I'm pretty sure another Jinjo's around here too. It certainly is. Well, this, this is why I do it. Really, it's for it's for it's for this purely for nostalgia purposes. It's it's happy times. I mean, especially for me, happy times. I was you know 13 or so when this game came out originally. You know, happy times, sort of. Playing N64 with my friends, you know, not a care in the world. Chimpy's around here, right? So. To the ancient ways are. It's Zen C up, I think. 
Yep. It certainly is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, Marsha, yeah, I grabbed you. Yeah. Well, before that, there's a thing off to the, the, uh, the side there, so. Give over. What's the with you? We've got neighbors. You know we've got neighbors. We've had them all this time. We're still going to have them even after whatever. <laughs> How many is that? Seven. There you go. That's pretty. That's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna mess with you. I know where there's another one, I'm sure of it. Yeah, so for me, you know, one of the things I'm, I'm loving about having my, uh, about having an N64 back in my life is because I was, Right, it's 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 you know yeah it's it's very very similar yeah so you know Rare are responsible for some of the greatest video games of all time to be perfectly honest so you know Rare you know Rare did obviously they did Donkey Kong Rare did um they did Diddy Kong Racing Rare did Goldeneye Rare did Perfect Dark you know Rare did Banjo Kazooie uh what else did they do uh, Jet Force Gemini I think is is a fairly popular sort of Rare game with fanfare. I miss that. Let's get that again. Ah. But yeah, so Banjo Conquer and um, and Diddy Kong were all obviously in Diddy Kong Racing. I think Tip Top's in this game as well. Uh, who who's also a oh, I was there and I had it and I've blown it. So yeah, all, all those universes are quite, you know, intricately, you know, connected. So yeah. 
Really? I have that. Get faster. I remember correctly, you do this to get that, right? cereal for a long, long time. I like cereal as well. It's one of my mum's pregnancy cravings with me apparently. She ate a lot of cereal. Which explains probably why I like cereal a lot. <laughs> so, uh, what are we up to? 87, uh, 8, 5, okay. 4, right. So I'm missing a mumbo token. Right, I know that there's notes in that house. Is there a mumbo token in the house? In the hut? Let's have a look. cereal right now you know i'm 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 a you know this sounds this, i'm gonna sound really really boring i'm actually a fruit and fiber guy i i'm actually a fruit and fiber guy i like you know i, I like fruit and fiber but then i like to add re you know, i like to add fresh fruit to it too so like you know bananas mostly i'd say bananas more so than say strawberries or anything else That sounds, I know that sounds really, really boring, I know, but, um, yeah, I'm a, a somewhere that I've overlooked. I love Special K. I absolutely love Special K cereal. And yeah, just adding, you know, just adding fresh fruit to them is, is, is just the best, isn't it? So. So I've dealt with Conga. There's my Jinjo. Miss. There's the note that comes from it. You know, it's, it's funny how I'm I'm I don't really like chocolate flavored cereal all that much. You know, it's like uh you know, they're called Cocoa Pops over here. But uh it's basically like Rice Krispies, but obviously they're cocoa flavored, right? So you know, cocoa pops. Uh, I, uh, they might be called that. They might be called that over there. I don't know. 
but I know obviously frosties are called frosted flakes, you know, for, for some you know some reason you need to sort of emphasize the fact that they're you know they're, they're flakes for whatever reason. We just call them frosties over here, you know, with Tony the Tiger and everything else. Um, yeah, just, they're just they're just called plain old regular frosties. Quite partial to frosties as a little boy, uh, but then you know sugar content and everything else. Shreddies as well. I don't know whether you've got those over there. Quite partial to those. No less. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's my fifth Mumbo token. And the rest of the notes and everything else is... No, I think uh, mini wheats are are something completely different. They're, they're like it's like bite sh size shredded wheat. I think that's I think that's what they are. But uh, shreddies are like oh gosh, how do I how do I, how do I describe them? I just don't know why the universe just can't standardize everything and just call it all by the same name. It's like, you know, Starburst, right? You know, they were invented over here. They were called Opal Fruits. You know, why, 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 you know, it's like Snickers bars. So Snickers bars, right? Uh, we originally called those Marathon bars up to like 1990 or whenever it was. So uh, Snickers bar was a marathon. Same ingredients, everything else, just different branding, different name. Just the reasons, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the reasons for it. But um, okay. So. The jumps, the jumps, the jumps, the jumps. I know I've got to go this way. Okay, so that's one. There's all the rest of my notes. If you wouldn't mind pissing up out of the way, that'd be great. Okay, that's all 100 notes for this world. I should be. Shit. Do I need all those? I don't need any of those, do I? They're just eggs. I don't need the eggs. Well, Burger King is Burger King over here, so yeah, we we, we, we call it Burger King, so... There you go. All ten, all ten jiggies, all 100 notes. So... Uh, that's a good sound, right? So... Yeah, so you know, Burger King in the UK is is Burger King in the US and Canada and everywhere else. Apparently, except for Australia. So I didn't know that. That's interesting. Right, in order to get this one, actually move on to the next one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it though. 
Hungry Jack, so I mean that doesn't even sound that doesn't even sound appetizing. You know, do you want you know it's like you know McDon you know, do you wanna go for a McDonald's? Or do you wanna order in McDonald's? Or do you wanna order in some Burger King? Do you wanna order in some Hungry Jacks? It doesn't have the same sort of ring to it. As, uh, you know, as far as I as far as I'm concerned at least. I don't, I don't know. I mean what do I know? I'm just a guy, what do I know, so I've already been up here. That's where my Majiggy was, right? So uh, I'm in here. Where am I? Uh, up here. Hey, come. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just think McDonald's is McDonald's, you know? It shouldn't be called anything else. It'd be sacrilegious. Uh, I'm sure they're a publicly traded company as well, so I'm, I'm not sure whether they, they actually can, can they? I think the only time it's, it would ever be sort of What do I know? Oh, probably. Yeah, it's just it's just a uh, Mackie D's. It's just Mackie D's here, so uh, if I, that's what we call it, at least. So. Uh, what is this one? Ah, oh, yeah, Treasure Trove Cove. Once they're in, they're done. Wait, I've got memories of things doing things, but I'm not quite sure what they what they do at this this particular point in time. Does that make sense? Right, I don't think I actually need any of this yet. So you know, I'm gonna because that's gonna lift up, and I'm gonna be able to get in there eventually. Should be able to go in here as well, right? right. Cauldron, power to the same color to create a shortcut. Okay, no problem. Now, bail. 
Yeah, I don't want to go in there just yet. Just double check me. Surroundings, yeah, that's right. This sounds promising. It certainly is. Gonna happen with that cannon. I'm pretty sure I know what happens with the cannon. You know, we used, used to be really, really cheeky about stuff like this and put things behind the chest. Here we go. Okay. Thing, whatever, unturned. Right, there's that, there's that shark now, because he, he's a tosser, he is. There he comes. One bite from him, it's good night, Vienna. There we go. So that's fine. Cover these two. We should go. I should go left to right, I think. Oh, I remember this clown. I've got to peck at him with me thingy. He tries to clip you at the same time because he's a dick. He's going to tell you how much of a dick he is in a minute as well. If his beach, you find nothing without his help. Crustacean brain. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I practice my move. That's the one. First two were really good, and then that last one was kind of awful. actually disappears to because he, he, he retreats inside his shell but he's not in his shell so where is he right so there's something behind here isn't there Let's 
couple in a chest, I'm sure about that. Not all these chests are useful. Most of them are. That one's not very useful. Captain Blubber's over there. He's going to start booing about his treasure. I know about him. toys based on, on on this game. I don't think they I don't think they did did they? Oh yeah Leaky I know how to deal with him. I'll deal with him in a minute. Let's go and get these first then. Because I think they, they probably m missed a trick with merchandising on this because I think they do it now. Now that you know this is considered to be retro. But I feel like they probably really really missed a trick. You know when they have the opportunity to do it, to be perfectly honest. So look, we've been it, we've done this. Piss off. Alright, should we go and deal with this clown? Alright, I'll deal with that in a minute as well. Something up here, I'm sure of it. Ah, uh, the first... Oh, the second one. Still a big chance, chicken legs. Time for you to fly! Find this compressor. Eh? Sweet! Ah, oh, very kind. Cheers, big ears. Alright, let's go up this way first. Wow, what's up here? Oh, are these all eggs? They are, aren't they? Although, I'm sure one of these has a Jinjo in them. There it does. I only use that because I noticed that, that I'm going to have to do the whole almost like a repeat thing of the termite thing. Ah, notes, noty, noty, note, notes. So remember that. That's the cannon. Yep, yeah, that's it. I remember. I remember. I remember. Right now, I think I can get in here if I peck away at the door. That's right. That's right. Gumball, gumball. Oh, so I need the shock. Yeah, I need the shock jump just to get that. Right, so I right I need to learn that first. I should have learned that first, really. So that, that kind of sucks. That kind of really sucks. Double actually. Right, 
I shouldn't draw. That's pretty stupid. Shit. Oh, really? Piss off. I've got to do all that all over. Right, okay, so what have we learned? What have we learned? So, right, what have we learned? The first thing we've learned is... I need to learn the shock jump before I learn how to fly. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to have to to, to know. That's not a problem. Oh, I completely missed the gin, Joe. Right, how, how long have we been in? That's, an hour will do it anyway. An hour will do, to be perfectly honest. It was only a test, so... Let's have a look. That's some good stats, isn't it? For Mumbo's Mountain, at least. Gruntilda's Lairs, 2 of 10. 6 of 6, so that was good. That was decent. So, we've had, well, an hour of streaming, but just under 50 minutes of gameplay, testing out this new layout, and I've got to say, it looks pretty cool. I say it looks pretty cool. Uh, I need to remember that I need to learn how to use the shock disc first, before learning how to fly. Because that's obviously very, very important, as we've just as we've just realised. But apart from that, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with this, and it's it's a decent layout. And when I give us a, a proper, thorough gameplay, which is going to be coming in probably the next day or so. Oh, 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 Cass, 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 Cass! I've got a delivery date for my. Um, Arcade cabinet, my Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinet. It's coming on January the 30th. So not this Monday, the one after. So that's, that's something to... Oh, hello. Hang on, come on. This one keeps bothering me as well, so come on. Oh, what is it? What's the matter? What's the matter? I know. You're my baby. I know. You want to cuddle. You want to cuddle. You want a big cuddle. You want a big cuddle from your dad, don't you? You want a big cuddle from your dad, don't you? Yeah. You want a big cuddle from your daddy, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah. So, come on, get down. We'll have a cuddle. We'll have a proper cuddle in a little while. Yeah, so January the 30th, it's coming. Um, they're going to give me like a delivery window on the day. I did ask them as well if they, if they could deliver it any sooner, could you? They said, well, they'll make a note on their system. So if any any sort of earlier delivery dates come up, they'll um, get in touch and message. So that's that's pretty exciting. If it, if it, you know, sort of pans out, pays off. And yeah, so... Yeah, pretty happy. Pretty happy about that, so... Um, I don't think, I don't think there's really anything else I, well, you know, the funny thing is about this is that, you know, when I told my sister the delivery date, they're like, oh, why is it so, why is it so far away, you know, because January 30th is like ages away, right, and uh, I said, well, it's not, it's not all that far away, and she's like, oh, well, you know, I'd, I'd be, you know, um, can you, can you get it delivered, can you go and collect it, and I'm like, well, I don't know, I, well, I don't drive, so, I mean, how, how would I collect it, I'll just, you know, I'll just, I'll just get a license and, and get a car, get a car, get a van, or whatever, I'll, I'll go and get it right now, um, it's like, you know, so she looked into, uh, she looked into the, the possibility of actually going to collect it on my behalf for me, but because of where she lives and where I live, it's just, it's just not really doable with all the, you know, the rising cost of, of, of fuel and everything else, so it's just like, it'd be like a 130 mile round trip or, or whatever it is, and it's just like, it's not, it's not doable, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not doable, it's not financially feasible, 
So it was. I I say, look, you know, I'm I'm not in any rush for it. I know it's coming. So I mean, you know, it gives me something to look forward to at least. And I I, I said to her, honestly, to be perf, you know, to 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 be perfectly you know, straightforward with you, I think you're actually more excited for me to receive it than I am at this point. So. She's a uh, she. She's excited to see it, and you know, I, I, yeah, I'm probably more excited about the aspect of of of, of, build, of building it than anything else. Yes, I know. I love you too. Yes, I know. I love you too. Yes, I know. I know. I love you too. Um, yeah. So it's 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 got to be built. It's it's not it's not all it's not all made up. So it has it has to be built up. Um, it's about. It's about maybe four or five feet tall, but you get a riser with it as well to make it just that little bit extra taller. So um, I've got a space for it ready and waiting. Like it's not in this room; it's in my um, it's in my bedroom. So I'll never need to turn the bedroom light on ever again, and I can go and I can maybe go to sleep and sleep with a sweet sound of Haruken, Haruken, uh, just to just to like sort of set send me on my way, you know. So. And yoga flame, yoga fire, and um, yeah, and everything else. So yeah, that's 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 pretty exciting stuff. I'll to I'll to give you some more. Uh, I'll give you some more details about it when we when we chat. You know when we you know when we chat on Messenger or Snapchat or wherever it is that we chat. So yeah, so I think with with that all being said and done, I've got nothing else to sort of show off now. It was, it was a layout test to see how it looks, see how it sounds. It looks like it, it performs well. It, it, it looks for the business. I've got to say, it's, it's one of my favorite layouts as well. I've done several layouts now for different games, and I'm, I'm quite taken with this one too. It's, it's busy. It's like I said, it's very, very busy. I've got lots of things happening all over the place. And I'm talking with my hands like that. Um, but the game itself is very, very busy. I mean, you just have to look at the screen, and you, you can see you, you, you've got you've got you've got Jiggy's blinking, you've got Honeycomb's blinking, you've got you've got thank you very thank you very much. You've got notes blinking. You've got you've got a clock whirring around. You've got you've got a B button, you know, and a, an analog stick, and a, and, all, and then obviously I've got all my elements in there too. And yeah, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with it. I'm quite taken with it. It works a business, it works a part, it's going to play the part, and this is what I'll be doing, you know, with my next, with, with my next stream, I'll, I'll, I'll play a little bit of this, and then I'll probably jump back into Majora's Mask as well, because there's a lot, you know, that is proving to be more difficult than I than I gave it credit for. Ocarina of Time seems to be quite, quite a bit of a cakewalk compared to this, in terms of having a 100% completion, but um, this is this is more for fun. This is more of a fun platformer. It's kind of, it's kind of up there with um, Mario 64. If I wanted to dedicate maybe a, a few hours towards playing this and getting you know a 100% a, a completion on it, I can do that, and it shouldn't really be all that difficult to do. So, with that being said, it's now one hour and ten minutes in. I've got nothing else to show you for now. This is only a test layout. And it looks apart, and this will be what we use going forward for Banjo Kazooie. I've been Russ, uh, and I'll probably be Russ in a little while as well. And I'll I'll be signing off on this one now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I see. I'm pretty happy with how it's performed. I'll get it to play back in a few, and I'll see how how it looks in general. And yeah, just happy. Just generally speaking, just generally happy. Uh, I think the settings are okay too, so we're all good. So. I'll I'll sign off I'll sign off on this now, and I'll probably stream again probably tomorrow I'd say, and then we'll we'll get into this and we'll do a proper proper playthrough. So thank you, thank you Cassie for being for all this time. Um, I'll chat to you in a few minutes. Let me just wrap all this up. I'll get Rosie outside as well. I think she might want to go outside do her stuff, and um, yeah, we'll 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 chat soon. So, um, for anyone else that may have dropped in, thank you very much for tuning in.